please welcome my friend Bill Sheft. My, my father was uh, in the, the shoe business uh, for, for years, and uh, my, uh, my, mother <laughs> my mother was a stay-at-home narcissist. No, my mother was, uh, <laughs> my mother, uh, I'm the fifth of six children, and, and uh, so we, large Jewish family, there's never enough guilt to go around. And uh, my parents were very liberal Jews. My parents believed in the Ten Commandments, but they believed you could pick five. They were very liberal. <laughs> And um, they were, I'll just tell you the difference between my mother and father. Uh, years ago, they went to, uh, to Israel um, when my, uh, my sister got married. So they went to Israel, and they came back, and uh, I call my uh, parents, and my mother answers the phone, I said, and here's the difference between them. I say to my mother, uh, how was the trip to Israel? She said, not only was it inspiring, but it was educative, okay? Look that up later, okay? Educative. So I, educative, right? So now, as she gets off the phone, my father gets on the phone. I said, Dad, how was the trip to Israel? He says, oh, I had a piece of melon in Tel Aviv. You wouldn't believe it was green and fleshy. And, you know. <laughs> I think there's such different talents. I mean, the, writing a joke, performing a joke, they're completely different talents, totally different talents. And writing a novel coming out of that, I think, is a completely different talent altogether. After that, you, you be, became a Letterman's monologue writer, right. for, which is a, it's a whole other thing. There you're writing a five, seven-minute piece that's joke, joke, joke. It's all jokey, jokey, jokey. Yeah, it's just a different, it's, it, it's, it's a different muscle. You know, when you're a stand-up, you, you really can't afford to do topical material all that much because no, the shelf life. Exactly. I never do just for that reason alone, yeah. unless something comes to me right in that moment. But the thing about writing comedy is that uh, just because you write comedy doesn't mean people won't get it. And um, I'll give you an example. I wrote a piece years ago for George Magazine, and it was, uh, it was a, a humor piece. It was the uh, all of American history through the eyes of a conspiracist in 600 words, okay? So back then at George Magazine, everybody that worked at George Magazine was a 23-year-old girl who had either just finished having sex with JFK Jr. <laughs> or was about to have sex with JFK Jr. So I turn in my piece and I get a call and it's like, hello, this is Dee Dee the fact checker. And I say, hi Dee Dee. <laughs> I read your piece. I just have one question. I said, okay, what is it? She says, is it a known documented fact that John Hancock died without life insurance. And I was like, yeah, Dee, <laughs> Dee Dee. That's, Dee Dee, that's, uh, that's a joke. Okay, you know, so, so, I, uh, so now, but you know, and I tell, you know, and, and, and I tell people this, you know, and the other writers, we write some, we write some really good stuff, we write some stuff that's okay, we write some lame stuff. But night after night, without question, the funniest moments of the show are Dave being himself in the moment, reacting in the moment. And, and I think about, there's two incidents I think about. One time, he had Richard Simmons on when, when Richard was alive. And, uh, <laughs> and we come out of commercial, this is when Dave was still smoking cigars, we come out of commercial, and there's Richard Simmons, and he's all oiled up in the shorts and the feathers and the boa. And he's like, you know, pantomime. He's got a, one of Dave's cigars, and he's pantomiming. Smoking. And they come out of commercial, and he says, David, will you teach me how to smoke a cigar? And just Dave says, oh, Richard, I think you got the hang of it. <laughs> <laughs> just to, to finish off, uh, after I finished it, I emailed our mutual friend, Larry David, and I said, I just read Chef's book. It's great. And I knew he'd read it. And he said, I know. It's incredible. I had no idea he was that profound. That I had no idea to expect that much profundity from such a great jokester, is what he wrote. Wow. So I thought that was that kind of combined what both of them are. And this has been great. Thank we'll start you. with Larry. We'll end with Larry. That's right. That's great. Good night, everybody. <laughs> Thanks, everybody.